YouTube, Madam Roy back again. Today is March 2nd, 2015, and I thought we'd just do a, a quick little vlog. Um, it is still the middle of winter here, so nothing too interesting happening at the moment, but I thought I'd show you guys what I'm actually working on today. But first, check this out, guys. Simon actually decided to stay in my room, which is very unusual. He's, uh, you know, he's a bum. He doesn't really do much. I've tried to get him to do some tricks that I taught him years ago for the camera, but he won't. He just likes to sleep. Don't want to disturb him too much, because he's always tired. <laughs> As most of you guys know, I'm really uh, in cassette tape aficionado. Uh, this is one that I've been listening to for quite a while. Uh, it's called For Him, The Basics of Life. It's a really, really good Christian um, rock group from the early 90s. But I've wanted to transfer some of these over to uh, CDs. So I'm using the Windows 2000 system in conjunction with Audacity. If you guys can see it right there. I just have it set up now and I was about to... Um, start using this old Kenwood model uh, KXW891 cassette player. I have this hooked in through the input on the sound card and I'm going to go ahead and start making some recordings but I ran into a little snag. If you look right in here, and I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but you can see right there by the pinch roller uh, there is some uh, yellowing there. Well it looks like the uh, the grease they actually used originally has started to congeal over the years and it's kind of interfering with the uh, pinch roller there. When I play a tape, when I first tried to play a tape, it didn't work at all. Uh, I, when I tried it a few more times and as you can see it is working but and it plays just fine when you're actually trying to just play a tape. But listen to when I try to fast forward. That sounds fine, but listen to reverse. Hear that kind of vibration in there? I think what's happening is, is that pinch roller is interfering with the mechanism, so I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and try to clean that up. Hopefully that will prevent that noise and make this thing run smoothly again. So I'm going to give that a try and see if it fixes my reverse problem. All right. Well, that looks much better. Uh, it's still yellow, but at least the uh, the pinch rollers move freely now. And I cleaned it up on both sides. If you want to look at the uh, Q-tip I used, you can see that a lot of that old uh, grease came off, and it was really gummy. It's almost the consistency of honey, or maybe even uh, like maple syrup. So I think we're actually good to go right now. I'm going to go ahead and work with Audacity for a few minutes and see if I can't get. Uh, this uh, cassette tape transferred to some mp3s and then maybe eventually on to a couple of CDs because my mom really wants a copy of this. And for you guys that are curious, uh, what I use to clean that off is just 91% isopropyl alcohol. When you're working with electronics, you want to get as high a percent alcohol as possible. You could probably get away with 75-80% alcohol, but don't go to the dollar store and pick up the ones that say 45-50%. There's too much water in those, and what will wind up happening is if you don't clean this off properly, it will actually start rusting the components. So, just a word of warning to everybody out there. While I was in there, I figured I'd also clean the head. I, re I remember doing clean the head right before I put this away, so I didn't think it would need it, but check this out, guys. That actually is what came off the head. Isn't that disgusting? I guess the last tape I played in this before I put it away had, um, had some bad, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, chemicals or something that were seeping out, because, wow, that is quite a bit of dirt on there. But as you can see now, the head is most definitely clean, and we should be good to go. Well, as you can see, I got it working. Uh, it's using the uh, mic input from the Creative Sound Blaster. Right now I have it set in stereo mode at 44,100 Hz and 32-bit uh, float point, which is basically the default settings. And it is, of course, putting it in an uh, MP3 format. This is kind of a new thing for me. I've never actually worked with Audacity before. I know that a few YouTubers like uh, UXW Bill, uh, V Westlife, 
have used this quite a bit for transferring uh, old cassettes. Um, so I'm going to be kind of doing a learning as I go game. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's easier to learn than I think it will be. There's a lot of different settings in here, but what I really like is you can actually trim off the beginnings and the ends because because it's a cassette player, there's really no way to tell exactly where it starts in the cassette. I mean, you can make an educated guess, but there's always a few seconds of lag time. So. From what I understand, you can just delete that right off the beginning, and then, of course, at the end of each track. Oh, man, I finally got it working. One thing that was driving me nuts is, every time I go to the next track, it would still, it would it would be oversampling or dubbing the, the previous track onto it. And I couldn't figure out why the heck it was doing that. Then I went up here to where it says tracks. Uh, hang on a second. It's not going to show it to me right now, but when you're on this if you go to tracks there's something called oversampling you gotta make sure that if it says oversampling that's unchecked because that's checked it'll record all the previous tracks onto the new track that you're trying to record alright well I had to start over again like a dummy I didn't read the instructions first and what they actually said to do is when you're recording from something like a cassette or an album or a record album you're supposed to let it play all the way through and then once everything's done you can go ahead and separate the tracks which kind of makes more sense to me but you know I'm a guy so I don't always like to read instructions it actually works well for me too because if you can see on here this has a, a relay setting which what it'll do is it'll play one side of the cassette and then the other side and then it'll just stop so I'm gonna go ahead and let this play through and uh, once it's done hopefully I'll be able to edit all the tracks I think if you count the songs on here it's gonna wind up being let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's gonna be like 13 different tracks so we'll see how this works well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here because I have some uh, meetings I have to go to later today, and uh, I gotta get some rest. I got up really early this morning because uh, the cat was bothering me. So this is gonna be the end of the vlog for today. Please remember to like and subscribe, and as always, have a blessed day, everybody.